So YouTube team keep it clean in the NFL's final effort to give you some more hype before the season. Today is officially schedule release day. Now, the schedule is supposed to come out at about 8 p.m. tonight, but of course, you know, there will be leaks like hours before then. Uh, and to see which ones are official, you got to just trust the source. You got to trust the source, wherever you get your information from. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, the first game of the season for every single NFL team has come out. And for the Ravens, they start. <laughs> Ooh, they start on Monday Night Football against the Raiders in Las Vegas. And it's like, we get to open the Raiders' new stadium where they haven't had fans at yet, and we get to open it up for the fans by crushing them. But anyway, it's, it's too early for that. No trash talking yet. But it's, it's exciting. It's exciting because, of course, the Ravens under Lamar Jackson in primetime game 6-2. and two. He has thrown 18 touchdowns to two interceptions 18 to 2 that's a, that's a pretty good ratio i would say and when the lights are on lamar jackson shines usually i think the uh two losses are one to the chiefs last year on monday night football and also last year on sunday night football too to the patriots and those were some uh very unfortunate games uh, and both of them were close for a while obviously the patriots game was close really throughout uh, but the Chiefs game was close to like the first like three quarters. And then after that, it just, yeah, you know the rest of the story. But there's those six other two games where Lamar Jackson under the lights. It's like it's a whole nother atmosphere, man. It's just something about them Ravens when the lights are on, when they do their thing. So I'm excited. I know they're excited. Uh, I, I, I've seen so many people on Twitter say, oh, yeah, we going to the game. Oh, we flying out to Vegas. Oh, yeah, we going to Vegas. It's time, man. Uh, one of my guys is him and his wife's anniversary. So he said, hey, hopefully that'll be my anniversary gift where she buys tickets to Vegas and we go to the game. Hopefully y'all do get that. That should be fun. Um, but most likely, I think we'll be watching the game from the crib. But y'all enjoy yourselves. Uh, but it, it's, it's super exciting because you got some familiar faces. Because, of course, Willie Sneed, former Baltimore Raven. Where did he go? To the Raiders. Yannick Ngakwe, former Baltimore Raven. Well, kind of, but technically he is. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like he's just such a Raven but because he was only here for a couple games. But anyway, Yannick Ngakwe, where did he go? To the Raiders. And then, of course, everybody's favorite, Mr. Darren Waller. Now, of course, he was not what he is right now when he was with the Baltimore Ravens. He wasn't that. But that is one that when a lot of Ravens fans continue to see him flourishing and continue to see him thriving, continue to see him doing well, they're like, oh, what could have been? It breaks a lot of Ravens fans' hearts. But he wasn't doing that when he was with the Ravens, and it worked out for him, and we're glad that it worked out for him. So shout out to all of them. But this should be very, very, very fun. And one thing to think about, too, under Lamar Jackson, in week one games, whether home or away, I know it's only been two of them, but under Lamar Jackson in week one games, when you look at the preseason, a lot of people look at the preseason and be like, oh man, Lamar looks like he's a little bit off. Oh, Lamar looks like, oh, maybe he's not connecting with his guys. And oh man, but then that regular season rolls around in week one and everything's looking crisp. Everything looking on point because in Lamar Jackson's first <laughs> in his first week one opening game in his first oh man it was a pleasure to be there too oh gosh that was probably one of the most fun games ever in his very first week one opening season a uh, game as a starter played the Miami Dolphins what did he do I think he ran for like maybe like eight yards he ran for three to eight yards some some crazy small like some crazy low number but then he threw for one, two, three, four, Jackson, five touchdowns, five touchdowns, two to Hollywood, one to uh, Boykin, uh, one to Sneed, and I believe the other one was to, was it to Andrews or Ricard? I forget. But anyway, he threw for five touchdowns. And then, of course, uh, and that game was like, what it was like 59 to 10, something like that, against the Dolphins in Miami. So that was technically a home game because you know it's the Florida Ravens. But then 
Uh, last year, we played the Cleveland Browns. And Lamar Jackson, I want to say he threw two touchdowns in that game. I don't remember who they were. They both to Mark Andrews? I, I, I think they both were to Mark Andrews, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but he threw those two touchdowns. J.K. Dobbins, he rushed for two touchdowns, I believe. Um, and the Ravens beat the Browns, I want to say, like 30-something to three or 28 to three, 26 to three, something to three. Either way, Ravens, big, brown, small. So that was a beautiful thing. And then even with under the Ravens, just period, under John Harbaugh, um, the Ravens have been pretty prepared uh, when it's come to week one. Uh, in 2018, Lamar's rookie year, he wasn't starting yet, of course, but he did get some playtime in week one because the Ravens, they blew out the Bills. We were there for that one, too. We were there. I, I think we vlogged. Yeah, we did vlog it. But, yeah, the, the Ravens blew out the Bills. Oh, shout out to uh, uh, shout out to Birdland BS. Shout out to my guy Fred. We went to the game with them, but um, we blew out the Bills, and that was just went crazy. That game, Flacco went crazy, and then that was the game. And Bills fans can thank us; they are still thanking us because their starter for that game was Nathan Peterman, I believe, and he was just doing so bad. But the Bills had drafted this rookie who they were all excited about. And he ended up getting in the lineup because Nathan Peterman just got beat up on. He got picked off. Just everything was going wrong. Insert Josh Allen. And we, so Ravens got his career started a little bit earlier. So you're welcome, Bills fans. And then the year before that, now my memory's starting to get a little bit shaky, but I believe that the year before that was when we opened the season against the Cincinnati Bengals. Against the Cincinnati Bengals. And we beat them, I want to say, 20 to 0. Or maybe it's 20. I think it's 20 to zero where we beat the Bengals. So and then, of course, I mean, that's as far as I can remember. But the Ravens in week one, they come out prepared and they come out ready. Now, now back to that Bengals game real quick. I remember there was a hurricane down here in Miami and I was watching the game and I got to watch it all through the first, second, third and a lot of the fourth quarter. And then very close to the end of the fourth quarter. Boom. All the electricity went out. Went out and couldn't even finish the game. And, yep, that's when that hurricane really got started down here. But anyway, um, Ravens, I expect them to continue that streak of just coming out prepared, uh, coming out with all systems firing, all cylinders firing, uh, all systems go, and they just ready to rock, man. Um, the world will be watching. I know a lot of Ravens fans are going to be anxious, including myself, because week one, you see all these other teams playing or you see them playing on Sunday. Well, first, it's going to be the Thursday night game uh, with the Buccaneers and the Cowboys. So Brady versus Dak Prescott. So that should be fun. Uh, and then you're going to see the uh, the Sunday games, the 1 p.m. games. Um, a lot of good ones there, and then the 4 o'clock games, and then, of course, the Sunday night games, and it's going to be like, okay, cool, 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 and then we got to wait another night. So it's going to be a lot of uh, patience that's required as Ravens fans uh, coming up, but, hey, it's, it's all going to be worth it. So this is the start to an exciting season. The rest of the schedule, like I said, it'll come out throughout the day. Um, probably the official schedule is supposed to be released tonight at 8 but y'all will probably know what the official Ravens schedule is. Probably, I'd say, about 6 p.m. Probably about 6, yeah. Because it all usually comes out before then, like we said earlier. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And this is going to be like, like, like it has been for a long time, man. This is going to be a very, very fun season. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. We out.